Namaste viewers welcome to Pandu Prabha tutor love to share mathematics real numbers and decimal expansion class 9 Find the decimal expansion of ten divided by three. Three, ten, three threes are nine. Ten minus nine is one. Now put point. Take zero. Three threes are nine. Remainder is one. Again, take zero. Three threes are nine. Remainder is one. It continues. Dividing will not end. Ten divided by three is equal to three point three 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 dash dash. This type of decimal expansion is called. non terminating recurring decimal expansion find the decimal expansion of 55 divided by 2 2 to 55 2 to 4 now subtract 5 minus 4 is 1 bring down this 5 now we have 15 to 7s are 14 remainder is 1 put 0 Put point. Take zero here. Two fives are ten. Remainder becomes zero. Fifty-five divided by two is equal to twenty-seven point five. This type of decimal expansion is called terminating decimal expansion. This is terminating decimal expansion find the decimal expansion of 1 by 7 One, it is not possible to divide. Therefore, take zero point. Now it becomes ten. Seven ones are seven. Ten minus seven is three. Take zero here. Seven fours are twenty-eight. Subtract it. We will get the remainder two. Now take zero. Seven twos are fourteen. Remainder is six. Now again take zero. Seven eights are fifty-six. Subtract it. We will get remainder four. Remainder is four. Take zero. Seven fives are thirty-five. Subtract it. We will get the remainder five. Take zero again. Seven seven the forty nine remainder is one. Fifty minus forty nine is one. Again, we get the first result that is one divided by seven. These division 
continues we will get 142857 again this part is recurring part 1 by 7 is equal to 0.142857 dash 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 we will write the bar on the top of recurring part this type of decimal expansion is called non terminating recurring decimal expansion after seeing all these three examples decimal expansions we can redefine rational and irrational number now we will see the definition of rational and irrational number rational number a number whose decimal expansion is terminating or non terminating recurring is called rational number this is very very important point terminating or non terminating recurring repeating recurring means repeating such numbers are called rational numbers now we will go for irrational numbers definition a number whose decimal expansion is non terminating or non recurring division is not terminating and also the decimal expansion is non recurring it does not repeat in rational number it is terminating in irrational number non terminating in rational number recurring repeated uh, decimal expansion we can see but here no now we will go for examples show that 3.142678 is a rational number since the given number has terminating decimal expansion we can write it as in the form p divided by q therefore 3.142678 is equal to 3.142678 is equal to 3142678 write all the digits divided by 1 followed by number of digits after the decimal point 1 2 3 4 five, 6 digits are there therefore 6 zeros and the given number 3.142678 is a rational number now we will go for next question show that 0.33333 dash just which is equal to 0.34 can be expressed in the form p divided by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 this is recurring number decimal expansion now we have to write this as p divided by q form and so let x is equal to 0.3333 dash 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 how many digits are repeating only one therefore multiply by 10 on both side call this as equation number 1 multiplied by 10 multiplying with 10 is very very easy just shift the point decimal point we will get the answer 
x is equal to that one, x is equal to this one, now we have to subtract. Now the recurring part will get cancelled, same as it is. Infinite number of 3's, here also infinite number of 3, therefore we will get 9x is equal to 3, 3 minus 0 is 3, 10x minus 1x is 9x recurring part will get cancelled therefore send this into 9 to the denominator x is equal to 3 divided by 9 now cancel it and dividing will get 1 divided by 3 3 ones are 3 3 is are therefore we will get x is equal to 1 divided by 3 now we will go for next question show that 1.272727 dash is equal to 1.27 bar can be expressed in the form p divided by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to Zero. Recurring part is two seven. Therefore, two seven bar is written. We will go for the answer. Let x is equal to one point two seven two seven two seven dash dash. Call it as equation number one. Since two digits are repeating. We have to multiply this equation by 100. If one digit is repeating, then we have to multiply 10. If three digit is repeating, we have to multiply it by 1000. 100 into x, 100x. 100, 100 into 1.2727 is Subtracting equation 1 from equation 2. X is equal to 1.2727 dash, dash, dash. Subtract it. Recurring decimal part get cancelled. Infinite number of 272727 7, 7, get cancelled. 100x minus x is 99x. 127 minus 1 is 126. Therefore, x is equal to 126 divided by 99. Now, divided by 9, we will get 9 11 9 14 126. We will get x is equal to 14 divided by 11. This is the p by q form of 1.27 bar. Now we will go for our next question. Show that 0 0.2353535 dash 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 which is equal to 0 0.235 bar can be expressed in the form p divided by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 and so same as before let x is equal to 0 0.235353535 call it as equation number 1 since two digits are repeating we have to multiply it by 100 After point 2 is not repeating, only 3535. Three, three, Therefore, two 
digits are repeating we have to multiply 100 100 into x is 100x shift the point after two digits 23.53535 call it as equation number 2 now subtract it from subtract equation 1 from equation 2 now we will get 100x minus x is 99x which is equal to uh, the recurring part 353535 get cancelled remaining 0 0.5 0 0.2 subtracting we will get 3 23 minus 0 is 23 itself 23.3 to remove this point we have to divide it by 10 99x is equal to 233 divided by 10 after point one digit is there therefore we have to divide it by 10 if two digits then divide it by 100 99 goes denominator x is equal to 233 divided by 99 into 10 is 990 this is the p by q form of the given x 0 0.235353 Thanks for watching, like and comment, don't forget to subscribe.